New at 6, Boston's Holocaust Memorial is now whole again and has been rededicated with the message of remembrance and hope. That glass memorial was vandalized just two weeks ago. But it's already repaired and the community came together today in a show of strength to rededicate it. The new glass panel replacing the damaged one was unveiled at a moving ceremony today. We remember this time when the fact that people were created an image of God were, was forgotten and at that moment women and men and babies and children were thrown into the fires. At the end of June, a man police say suffers from mental illness threw a rock through one of the panels. When the memorial was built more than 20 years ago, the organizers knew vandalism was possible, and they created extra panels. That's why the new one could be installed so quickly. It's very important to remember what this memorial stands for, who it represents, and the horrific events that it speaks to. The panels on the memorial's six towers are etched with millions of numbers that represent tattoos on the arms of Jews murdered by the Nazis. It stands as a clear commitment that we will never forget what happened during the Holocaust. Politicians and community leaders spoke today, but none more movingly than a Holocaust survivor. Yes, I do remember. After five and a half years, as an inmate, in six concentration camps, including Auschwitz, I remember every day of my life. Others who joined today's rededication included Steve Ross, another Holocaust survivor who's one of the founders of that memorial, and former Boston Mayor Ray Flynn, who was instrumental in finding a home for that structure in the heart of Boston.